Poppin' Tribe, it's your girl, Miss Quinita Charnel, and I am doing a quarantine hair thing. <laughs> no, but seriously, I am doing a hairstyle that I thought of and I was just like, oh my God, why well, didn't I think about this before? Like, I love doing this style and I've done it before and it's turned out beautifully every single time. And I am doing a half up, half down crochet install. See what I'm doing, that's why I'm looking kind of crazy, you know, but Y'all seeing me, I'm bad. Don't don't let this before and after get you full, honey. I am cold, <laughs> okay? Pretty much, I have already sectioned out my hair. Um, and last night, I actually washed, deep conditioned, and blue dried my hair. And then braided the back. And obviously, this part that you see up here, this is where I'm going to do like the bun. So let me show you the back of my head. And I hope you guys can see this, but I basically just did a um, beehive and I do braid my own hair now because you know being forced out of my comfort zone has taught me that I have to learn to do certain things myself and that saves down on my coins so if you don't know how to braid use this quarantine time hun and start figuring it out and I made sure that the braids are very even in size and then all I did was crochet my tail um, into my braids also y'all see it we are officially we are officially at tennis ball size. Yes, yes, you see the tennis ball. You see it. I know you see it. Young jock voice, I know you see it, okay? I'm so happy for me because I've been trying to get my hair to grow back and really start thriving and I'm seeing the growth. There was years where this was not a real puff and now we are, my tennis ball, my puff has graduated to tennis ball size. I just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing. And let me show you the hair, honey, because I saw someone's video on Instagram. You know, I know that's where I go to get all my inspiration from, or YouTube, or Pinterest, but majority of the time it's Instagram. And this is what we're using. This here is by Afri Natural. This is the Jamrock Kinky Three Times Molly Twist. And this is what the package looks like, okay? This was at my local beauty supply store for $9.99. And I got two packs because I wanted to make sure that I had enough hair. I don't anticipate using the full two packs, but y'all know me, I love some big hair. So there's a high likelihood that I'm going to try and use all of it. This is the back of it. But let me show y'all, let me show y'all what the hair actually looks like out the pack. Do y'all see that? Do you see these waves? And let me say this, the reason why I specifically got this hair is because the young lady's video that I was watching, um, I have this thing, maybe it's just me, but if you're gonna put your work out there in regards to crochet hairstyles and um, how to's and whatever, whatever it is that you do, give people everything that they need so that they can recreate these looks at home. You see what I'm saying? Now don't get me wrong. I don't care if you're selling the hair yourself or you found a plug for it and it's limited quantities, then save that. I will respect that more. But if every single person is saying, oh, beautiful job, oh, I love it, and every other comment is, what kind of hair is this? Where can I buy it? Where, you know, that kind of stuff, and you're not answering, that means you're intentionally ignoring people. And how am I to build trust and integrity with you and admire your work if I know, okay, if I like this hairstyle and I can't get to this person to do my hair and I have to recreate this at home for myself, you're not even providing all the information that I need. This is the exact reason why I started my channel. Honey, the hair that she had looked just like this. Looks just like bundle hair looks just like bundle hair. And I was just like, so why not tell people where you got it from? Or if you're selling it, sis say, hey, I can't tell you guys right now because I'm getting ready to start selling the hair or it's gonna be available for purchase soon. I'm still testing out vendors, whatever. I will respect that more. But to intentionally ignore your audience and we're the reason why you have the notoriety, notoriety on these certain platforms, I feel like that's just so disrespectful. It's so disrespectful. That is why I do my best to reply to every single comment that I can get. All right, yo, so we're back. We are back, so excuse my tangent. Like I said, I showed you guys the hair, which is this here. The colors that I got in this hair are 1B and number two. That is all they had left. I'm sure that you can find this online. Y'all know me, I will link it below for you. 
I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Let's just get right to the install. So how I'm gonna do this for you guys is my setup is a little different because I'm actually getting ready to move. So I kind of have to change up my setup. I like to watch TV when I'm doing my hair. So I'm literally going to position this so you can see me crochet in the back of my head. I will try and zoom in so that you can see it, but I'm, my goal is so that you all, if you don't know how to crochet, you find out. If you do know how to crochet, speed through it, and I'll do my best to show you you know, section by section. When you wanna do natural looking crochet installs is the perimeter braid, which is the braid that's on the outermost region of your head. You want to do the invisible method along that entire braid. Instead of pulling both pieces of the hair through, you only pull one. And because this hair has a lot of texture, a lot of body, has a lot of movement, you're not gonna need to do that more than maybe twice. But for me, I don't even think I'm gonna do it twice. I may do it twice, we'll see how I feel, but I'm gonna try and do it at least once. Um, if you're going to separate this hair, because y'all know me, I love to do that, Please be careful and do it with care. This hair tends to kind of fuzz out like this when you separate it. So I would recommend if you can leave it in its natural state with these little rod twists or twists or whatever, do that. But if you are going to pull it apart, pull it apart gently and make sure that you take care when you do it so that way your hair doesn't stretch out because as I always say ladies, this is synthetic hair, okay? This is not real hair, this is not bundle hair, this is not Indian hair, this is not any of that. This is synthetic hair. So it will straighten out on you and then you don't want to be left with a hot mess in your head. Take your time, do your braid around the entire perimeter of that, that back braid that's on the outermost region. Do the invisible method. Take your time, give yourself adequate spacing unless you're going to want it full like usually how I do it. I love my hair full. And then I will show you how to do my bun at the end. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with my top. So far, it's turning out super cute. I like it. I'm gonna show you the back. This is what I'm calling one section. Excuse the Golden Girls in the back, y'all. This is my favorite show and I need something to get me through doing this hair. What I put in was two sections. So two of these are in the back of my head currently. The 1B and the number two. So that's why I'm calling it one section, but it's two of these mini sections from both packs. I got two packs. In the event that I don't have enough hair, I am going to mix this in. This is color 1B. This is also by Apri Natural. And this is the three times water wave in 14 inches. I will try my best to put this like on the top because it is 1B, it's gonna be closer to my scalp, my natural hair color, and it's gonna drape over this hair that I believe it's probably about 18 inches. In case you all feel like two packs isn't gonna be enough, depending on how thick or how big you did your braids, it could be, could not be, depending on how big you want your hair, could not be, could be, use this. Because this is made by the same company and the only thing that's different is that this is a little bit more shiny. But the texture is very, very close to it. Let me show y'all. When you mix it in, you're not gonna be able to tell. And that's what you want is like a natural, mixed style get this if you need if in case you don't have enough like i don't have enough and mix it in i will come back to y'all when i'm almost done so this these two braids are all i have left and this is the volume that i get with this hair i want to make sure that it's kind of full on the sides so i'm going to take the apri natural water wave and i'm going to fill it in here because that'll give a nice layered look this will be sitting right on top and this is the color one beat. So as soon as I finish doing this and finish the back of it, I will come back and show you. Okay, so we're back. And this is what it looks like after I have put the shorter length on top. I will say as like a pre-review, this hair is pretty. As I said before, I do not recommend separating it at all because it will tangle. Now the hair that I put on top, you know, that, that hair, you can separate that as many times as you want. I actually separate that two to three times when I filled in those last two braids just to give me that fullness so that it's not flat. And then the reason again I did that is because I didn't know if I was gonna have enough hair from the other hair that I have left over. This hair here 
because I still have to do my bun and I didn't think that just one of these was going to be enough especially with all this hair kind of want your bun to be reminiscent of the size of the hair that you have in the back so this was super flat or whatever then one would have sufficed just fine but I decided I wanted two it would match the volume of the hair that I have in the back <laughs> All right, so before I even get a bunch of questions, let me explain this to you guys thoroughly. I literally took my hair and put it in a puff. Now, if you wanna put edge control in your hair in this part as you comb it into a ponytail, that is completely up to you. I chose to do a leave-in conditioner. I then separated my puff into two pieces and twisted them. Now, you're gonna take the hair out of the package, leave it in the rubber band, put the rubber band around your bun. You're gonna split that section in two wrap one side and then wrap the other side and unfortunately I forgot to show you guys how I did the other one because remember I said I put two of those up there but all I did was put the other pack of hair or other side of the hair put it on top of this bun and did the same thing by wrapping it around and securing it with bobby pins you kind of got to play with it but once you get it you get it so kind of play around with it until you're satisfied. It's not as hard as it looks. Just get that hair up there, make it stay, make it look good. And then honey, once you are done, this is the easiest style that you can do. Get your hair done, your makeup done, stay in the house because we're on quarantine and boom, this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.